Ever since COVID closed the St. Olaf campus last spring, juggling so many things, Luis Mendez has been waiting for this day. My heart's my heart's beating so hard, and I'm, I'm super excited and, and really joyful to be back. Mendez is among the first students cleared to return for an untraditional fall semester that will include lengthy restrictions and begin with a campus-wide quarantine. Once we're in, we're in. So for the first two weeks, it'll be kind of like a self-quarantine, self-lockdown within uh, the dorms. It's part of the college's five phase return to campus, which will include the quarantine, baseline testing for students and staff, and weekly updates on cases and tracing. And students won't just be motivated by signs and plastic partitions. And actually heard the grapevine that they're having like 10 students for each dorm, kind of being like a, I call them snitches, but uh, a, a lookout, a lookout team. Though other campuses might not go that far, according to MDH, students should take note. We have a special message for students heading to a college campus this fall. Lay low before you go. According to new guidelines, MDH is advising all college students stay at home for 14 days before coming to campus. If you have been exposed to COVID-19 and don't know it, this will ensure you don't spread it when you return to campus. Unfortunately for Lewis and his two roommates, it also ensures they'll miss out on some of their off-campus work. All three of us, we work at George's uh, Pizzeria in town. You know, we do have bills to pay. Um, whether it be you know tuition or just money in general for expenses that need to be paid for. Luckily, they're cleared to return to their jobs after their two-week sacrifice for school. Looking in the grand scheme of things, I think that it is worth taking that hit of two weeks of, of not working to be able to stay on campus for the next three months or four months or for the entire year. In Northfield, Kent Erdahl, Care 11 News.